rescue officers as well as being uh, examined in hospital. Well, okay, this is um, by far one of the most the things that annoy me about critics of gaming. We go and we see this multiple times in multiple places. A person goes to the in front of their TV. They sit down. They pick up a controller. They turn on a console and pops in their favorite game with their favorite multiplayer. Which they play hours on end with the time they have. And they get on here recording this. Hoping to find some asshole who bully them so they can claim that there's random bullying. But is it really bullying? When someone starts throwing shit at you. Fucking throwing salt. Literally, literally just throwing. Well not literally. Throwing salt in your game to disturb you so they can beat you. We know for a fact that when we play Call of Duty, even if you're on the same team for someone, you're competing against them for the top spot on that team. You're competing against them for kills. We don't play for assists. We don't play for backups. And we sure as hell don't play for to lose. We play to win. We play to get the most kills in the amount of time that we got. And we play to win the game. Even when we play Halo. We oftentimes find ourselves snagging a kill here and there from other fucking players on our team. Maybe we thought he couldn't get the job done. Maybe we thought he might get killed if he did in continued in to engage in an SMG brawl directly in contact with him. But what should never destroy your game is someone talking trash to you. Trash talk has had to be a part of competition since the beginning of fucking time. I guarantee it. I can guarantee you that fucking thousands of years ago in Battlefield still using sticks and fucking rods, dudes were still slinging insults. Why? Because it's effective. There is no better way to throw off someone's game than to get them angry, than to get their mind off the game, than to get their mind on what you're saying. And if you allow that to ruin your game, it only shows how weak it is. You want to fucking play? Play! You don't want to hear what's coming out of the headset? Turn the headset off. Take it off. Turn it off. But don't sit there and wear it and then complain about what you hear. You have no idea how many times I've heard the fucking N-word over the fucking game console headset. Do you think I take it off? No, because it's a part of gaming. Trash talk. If you had any wit about you, and you had any talent of tongue, you'd be able to talk smack back and destroy them utterly in seconds. You would hear nothing else, but you can't. Instead, you go and cry about it. You want to get good, you got to learn to stave off the bullcrap or turn the fucking headset off. A lot of games give, an, give you an opportunity to rate certain players as trash talkers, as users of profanity, and if you don't want to play them, you can mark them that way so you don't have to play with them anymore. But no, you sit there like an idiot and take the abuse that you clearly can't handle and then run off and cry about it. What does that say about your game? What does that say about your mental fortitude? That in a competition, you can't take a little trash talk. Maybe instead of whining about it, you grow callous to it. You grow up about it. You can get stronger because of it. You practice throwing back insults, and some of them are going to fail, and some of them will land perfectly and destroy your aggressor absolutely. And at that point, your trash talk is dominant. Either take the headset off, or get your trash talk game tight. I can't be any more clear about that. What's the point of leaving the headset on, and then crying about what you hear? The first time, I could understand. The second time, I grew little sympathy for you and the third 
The only reason I pity you is because you are glutton for punishment. If you know you can't, the only thing I feel any pity for you is because you're a glutton for punishment. If you know you can't handle the trash talk, why are you listening to it? If you know it ruins your game, why are you listening to it? Instead of growing the, fort- the mental fortitude to fucking use your wit and battle back with your words, you just sit there and take it. Grow a fu- the fuck up. You think this person out here working against you at your job trying to fight you for the position isn't going to say something to try and ruin your day? To try and ruin your performance at work? You think this is something that only exists in gaming? This is part of life. You need wit in this world to survive. And if you lack it, you will never go anywhere. I promise you, walk up to your manager and see if he has any wit at all. See if this person lets the bullshit get to him. And I promise you, he's not going that much further. You got to be stronger than words. You got to be stronger than what somebody says to you. If you want to if you want to go home and cry about it later, go home and cry about it later. But do not let the person saying something to you let the, do not let them know they're getting to you. It's pointless to do so. It's counterintuitive to yourself. And if this person, I don't care if he he decides, that, oh, I found out you're a girl, I'm going to mess with you. I find out you're a dude, I'm going to mess with you. I find out you're this, I'm going to mess with you. If he's throwing that shit at you, put the headset down or f***ing fight back. If he's still getting on your nerves, start throwing grenades. I'm not kidding. And if all that fails, and you still can't handle it, turn the headset off. The game has sound effects for a reason to be aesthetically pleasing to the ears. Shut it down. If it bothers you that much, turn the headset off. I am so sick of people sitting there crying victim and claiming how much they're abused for something you don't have to sit through. For something you don't have to be a part of. I have no pity for you if you sit there in a situation that you don't have to be in. You don't have to wear the headset. You don't have to listen to the trash. You can mute the player. You can put somebody else. But you sitting there taking it upside the head, just taking the bull crap instead of doing something about it. I have no sympathy for you. So in that regard, even though my title has the name on my Twitter, my YouTube has nothing to do with gaming. It's something I'm a part of and I love it. I just started building my first gaming computer. You have no idea how fucking proud of it I am and it's it's not even that great, but I'm fucking proud of it. Trade the tag. Play the game. Kick some ass. Subscribe, follow on Twitter.